guys, so as you can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be doing a nursing school supply haul. I don't wanna waste any of your time, we're gonna get right into it. So I'm gonna be telling you the things that I think you need and also the things that I think you can save your money on because there is a couple of things I've definitely wasted my money on, so let's get into it. So first things first, I'm not sure if this goes without being said, but I think you definitely need a computer. So you don't necessarily need this computer, um, I really enjoy the MacBook because it syncs with my iPad and my phone, but this is a MacBook Pro. Um, this is the 13 and a half inch one, I wanna say. I have had this for a long time. I didn't buy this specifically for nursing school. I've been in school for a while and I've had it. I really enjoyed it. But of course, if this is outside of your budget because they are very expensive, I totally acknowledge that. They're not cheap at all. There are definitely more inexpensive options. You can buy a computer refurbished from Best Buy or you can get one on Facebook Marketplace. But also, I've seen a lot of people in my classes with the Surface Pro, I think it's called. It's the Windows where it's the tablet with the keyboard. There's a lot of people that have those and they look really nice too. So if you have um, a little bit of a higher budget for a laptop, maybe try that Surface Pro. I mean. There's more people in my class that have the Surface Pro, I think it's called, than MacBooks. So, I mean, that's gotta mean something. So, definitely need a laptop. Next, you're going to need a stethoscope. So, I got this one. It's a Litman, but like, look how cute. So, you definitely do not need a Litman. There are cheaper options. I honestly was just buying in a panic and I went on Amazon, typed in stethoscope, got the first one that came up that was gonna be delivered like that day because I, again, was in a panic. So don't be me. There are definitely cheaper options that you can go with. You do not need an expensive one, but definitely get yourself a stethoscope. Okay, so going right along with that, get yourself a stethoscope case. To be honest with you, I have no idea what could happen if you did not have your stethoscope in a case, but for how much that thing cost, um, I was not gonna leave that up to chance. So for 12 bucks, I mean, I think it was 12 bucks. It was either 12 or 20, I don't remember. But either way, I got this just in case. And I would recommend that you get one too just to err on the side of caution. Save yourself the headache of having to order another stethoscope if something did happen. Okay, so next thing that you need is going to be a blood pressure cuff. So this one is from Amazon. It was fairly inexpensive. I think it was like $20. Um, everything that I've mentioned is going to be linked down below. So. I would definitely get yourself a blood pressure cuff. Um, I've been practicing a lot at home. Doing a manual blood pressure has not been the easiest thing for me, especially if like nursing school is your first experience with like patient care per se. So I would definitely get yourself a blood pressure cuff so you can practice doing your manual blood pressures at home. Okay, next two things we're just gonna rapid fire. They're pretty self-explanatory. So a pen light, you're gonna need that to do your neuro assessment and then a watch with a second hand Again, pretty inexpensive on Amazon. It depends on your school. My school does not allow us to use Apple Watches. You have to have a watch, like a manual, I don't know, a manual watch, a regular watch, I don't know. You have to have one of these, that's not digital. It depends on your program. If your program allows you to use an Apple Watch and you have one, go for it and save yourself the 20 bucks, but you're gonna need these things. Okay, next thing I know you're gonna need that I have not gotten yet, I'm actually like in the process of trying to find my perfect little nursing shoe. So you're gonna need comfortable shoes and compression socks. I do not have either of those things yet. I ordered a pair of Adidas and I have super wide, super big feet, so it's really hard for me to find a good shoe that works for me, but I will report back and let you guys know if and when I find one. Okay, next thing, if you can afford it, if it's not gonna break the bank, and I mean for real, if it's not gonna break the bank, something you don't need but would be really helpful is an iPad. So this is just a little case I got from Case Defy, but I love my iPad. I take all my notes on my iPad. Um, I do have an Apple Pencil also. I don't know of its whereabouts right now. I had it at school today, so it's gotta be here somewhere. But yeah, it just like magnets onto the side right here. And then if you're going to get the iPad, I would recommend getting one of these, um, it's called a paper like. I know they have like a dupe on Amazon, but it's just like a little, protector is so instead of like writing on glass it'll feel like you're writing on paper and it actually does like help a lot when you're writing just on the glass the pen tends to like slide around a lot and it just makes it kind of feel weird but with the paper like 
screen protector on there, it does help a lot. Um, if you're a digital girl and you like to take your notes digitally, it did take some getting used to for me, but it's so nice to have everything all in one place. Like I mentioned before, you can just airdrop all of your lecture notes, all your PowerPoints right into here. You can just make your own little notes in the margins and then you have everything all in one place. And then if you need to airdrop something back to your MacBook, then you can do it. You know, assuming you got a MacBook, but you know what I mean, you get the point. Okay, so that's wrapping up everything I think you are going to absolutely need. So now let's move on to some of the BS stuff that I bought that I don't really know if I'm actually gonna need. Okay, this book right here, the Nursing Diagnosis Handbook. Our professor told us to buy this on the first day of school and I would have done just about anything that woman told me to do because I was so freaking scared. I came home and ordered it immediately. It was 60 bucks, so... I don't know if you need this, but I bought it. I'm including it in the supply haul because I bought it. But I mean, you, I, do, I don't know. I, I don't think you'll need it. Maybe you will. If anything, I would maybe like get a couple of your homegirls in class and say, hey, you guys want to split this? Because like 60 bucks for, you know, like we haven't used it once and we're in the third week. And for like a six week class, like you'd think we would have used it by now. But anyway, so I'm not sure if you're gonna need this, but I will link it down below if you're interested in getting it. Do not be me. I went to Target and I bought four, I can't hold them all. I bought four binders and four notebooks, okay? Are they super expensive? No, but it's the point. Like either be like a digital note taker or a pen and paper note taker, you know what I mean? Like you don't need to have both, it's excessive. Maybe keep one notebook around just to like jot little things down or like sometimes we have to turn in physical paper in class. So I always keep like one notebook with me just for just in case. But I mean, I would say either like be an iPad digital note taker or pen and paper. Don't do not do both. Don't don't be me and go buy a bunch of post-it notes and all that jazz. We'll get to the rest of it, trust me. So adding to the list of things that would be nice that I don't think you need, I got these little zipper bags from Amazon. They're so cute. They're like the little bands, like checker print. I love it so much. Um, I got one for like my pens, my pencils, my highlighters, all that good stuff. And then, um, you know, your girl's a mom. So I got, I plan to use the second one for like, band-aids, ibuprofen, tampons, pad, chapstick, you know, whatever. Just like a little condensed version of like a first aid kit just to have. Cause you just never know. When you or someone else gonna need something, you know? When you're in your period, like I take ibuprofen like it's candy. So it, it's nice to have some when you need it. So that's what these will be for. If you want them and you can afford the extra, then go ahead, you know? Okay, I am fully aware that these are a splurge, but these are my favorite pencils ever. So I did get a bunch of, not a bunch, I got a pack of five, so. You don't need those. You can go buy the little big pencils if you want in the bag. I think there's like two bucks or something for like a big old pack of them. I would get those. I love those pencils yeah. too, but those are like my all time favorite. And then I also got these little tab situations don't know if I'll need these. Um, as of right now, I would say don't waste your money on this stuff. And then I also got these, same deal. You don't need them. I mean, if you think you're going to need that, any of these things, any of these little cutesy office supply type things, I would wait. Depending on where you live, I would just wait until after school sale. I mean, normally those pencils you can get on after school sale for like two or three bucks. And they were, I think that pack was $11. So. If you can, I would try to buy as little as possible as far as office supplies go if you can hold out for like the after school sale because you can get that stuff for like almost free. It's it's so worth the wait. Okay, I just want to preface this last, this last section by saying I am not being a hater. Let me say that again. I am not being a hater. If you have the extra money and you enjoy spending money on stuff for like the aesthetic purpose of it like more power to you go off if that makes you happy wonderful but i got two kids i got a mortgage i just started working part-time i'm trying to do everything on a budget we are balling on a budget in this house so with that being said 
the things that I see a lot of people get that I just personally don't think you need like practically, that's what I'm gonna tell you about. I don't have any of these things here personally with me because like I said, I think they're a waste of money. The foldy clipboard. I just don't see that being a practical way to take notes while you're in clinical. I think one of those little five star notebooks that's maybe the size of your hand, I think that would be a much better option. You can put it in your scrub pocket. It's not gonna hinder your ability because you think if you have this big foldy clipboard that's you know this big and you put it in your scrub pocket and you're bending down or a patient needs you for something, it, it really could hinder your ability to move in my personal opinion. So I think if anything, I would recommend going to clinical first, starting your program, doing the whole thing, and then buying that stuff as you need it. But I would not, before you start school, go on this big ass shopping spree and buy all those cutesy little things that you see a lot of people get and then end up not using it because then you're gonna be outside your Amazon return window and you've just lost your money. So that's the first thing in my opinion. Okay, the next thing is these clinical bags. Like, y'all, just get a, a backpack, one, one backpack. In my opinion, I don't see why you need a separate bag to go to clinical when you could just use a backpack. And I see people getting like really nice ones, like like a Lululemon big old bag, or what's that other brand? Dover something? I can't think of the name off the top of my head, but like they charge an insane amount for a backpack and it's just crazy. If I was you, I would just get a good backpack that can fit what you need. You don't need a bag just for your clinical stuff and a bag just for your backpack. In my opinion, you're setting yourself up to forget something. Cause I know me, if I have two separate bags and I have, you know, class one day, clinical the next day or vice versa, and I forget to put something back in my backpack from my clinical bag, like, you know? And to me, it just, it's overcomplicating a quite simple situation just get a backpack put your stuff in it go to class you're good to go i think you guys know what i'm about to say right now you do not need a 45 dollar stanley cup okay i'm telling you you just don't there's even even if it's like the the the, the shape of it or you know something like that the look of it they have a dupe you can get on Amazon. I get it. I get the like the cup holder thing and whatever, whatever. But like, I know y'all probably still have one of these from when these were like all the rage. Look, I, you know what I mean? Like if you have a fully functioning water bottle, just use your, use your water bottle you already have. Like, you know, I get it, but like, come on. And the straw, like you can't have on a clinical floor or in a hospital, like in a patient setting, on a patient floor, you can't have an exposed straw. You have to have like, it's, it's just too much, you know? You just And those things break. I know these are expensive, but Stanley Cubs break when you drop them. This thing has been dropped daggone 50 times. Like there's dents all over it and she still works. So you do not need a Stanley Cup, but if you want one, go for it. And again, I am not a hater. I know I sound like one, but you don't need a Stanley Cup. I promise you, you don't. Okay, another thing, badger reels. You don't need them. I know they're cute. I know they're so, so cute. But like, if you're gonna buy one, if you are gonna get a badger reel, I would personally recommend buying one from like a small business and just getting like one, spending like five bucks on one. Sorry to bother you. Oh, <laughs> that was so sweet. What? Wait, what did I do? Yeah. W. Oh, I'm in a video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to what I was saying. The badge reels. I know that they're cute. I know. Like, I do see a lot of times students getting like these big packs of them from Amazon or wherever, and there's like 20 of them, which is all great and fine. But then like Christmas comes or Halloween comes and you're buying another big pack of them and I just, I feel like it's per personally, in my opinion, I feel like it's a waste of money. I feel like if you want to get one, your best bet would be to find like one that you really, really like from a small business on Etsy or something to that effect. 
and just you know stick with that one or if you get the kind that is just like the one circle and it has like the velcro and you just kind of like peel the uh, the faces you have a bunch of different faces you can put on um if you're gonna do a bad drill i would go that route but again it's not something that you need but if you have the extra money and you want to make it cute go ahead okay and the last thing that i'm going to say are scrubs so hear me out if the color scrubs that you're required to buy for school don't align with the color scrubs that you'll be wearing when you're out working i would say don't get them too expensive so for my school right now we could wear any color scrubs so i i bought the seal blue because those are the color that's the color scrubs that i'll be wearing to work but for my actual community ADN nursing program, we have to wear teal. And they said that we could buy them used. You bet your bottom dollar I bought those things used. If anybody thinks that's gross, that's totally fine, but I'm not spending 70 bucks on scrubs that I can get for 20 bucks. Like, that, bother you again. that is okay. I would just try to see if there are any alternative ways that you can get the scrubs that you need if the color that you're wearing is not something that you can wear later on. A lot of times there's like Facebook pages that you can join and there were tons of people that were selling scrubs in the Facebook page for my nursing program. So it's worth a try. If you can find the scrubs you need for school, less expensive than say like a figs or something like that. I know it's fun and I know that they're pretty, and they're cute and you want to feel cute and like put together i i totally get it but i mean if you're on a budget and you're trying to cut costs like that is definitely a place where you can cut costs okay guys so let's just round this out really quick so the things that i think you definitely need would be a laptop blood pressure cuff stethoscope your pen light and your watch with a second hand and then depending on the vibe, if you want to be a digital note taker, I would say get the iPad with the Apple Pencil. Um, but if you're on a tighter budget, that's totally okay. Then, you know, get yourself some notebooks and highlighters and all that good stuff. All I am trying to say is try not to get caught up in the like keeping up with the Joneses kind of thing. Like I know that all those things would be really nice. I would, it's Dagny and Dover, that's the brand. I would love to go buy like a Dagny and Dover brand backpack or like a Lululemon uh, tote bag to carry with me to clinical. But I mean like we just, that's just not the season of life that I'm in right now. And I'm gonna make do with the things that I have and you know, try to save money where I'm able to and if that's you too then I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you liked it please give it a like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below for the video that you want to see next and I will see you guys next time. Bye!